This weekend uh, in Creativity Club, we ended up talking a lot about astrology, among other things, because it was a huge uh, astrology transit weekend with Pluto at the last degree of Capricorn, which it's been in Capricorn since 2008, transforming whatever house you have Capricorn in your, in your chart. And now it's moving after it did a conjunction into Aquarius uh, at zero degrees. So it's a big shift. Um, you might not feel it right away, but it's the start of something that you're going to be working on for the next 16, 17, 18 years. I'm not sure exactly how long, but a while. And um, for me, it was since 2008 in my career house, in the 10th house of how I'm seen in the world and um, my work, my visibility, things like that. And it's moving into my 11th house, which is more mm, the collective and connections and things like that. I'm not an astrologer. I just love to study it for how happy it makes me and how interesting I think it is. But some of my uh, creativity club members asked me to tell them how they can uh, figure out their chart. I like this app, Time Passages. You can download it for free. And um, you can get your own chart for free. And what's great about it, hold on, I'll see if I can show you. What's great about it is that it not only shows you the classic chart with the 12 segments, 12 houses, um, it will show you um, a breakdown of the general meanings of everything. So it's a great educational tool. And uh, you can keep it in your pocket, in your phone. Now, if you want to check out um, your houses that Pluto is moving out of and moving into, or has just moved into Aquarius, you want to check out your um, where you have Capricorn. Now, let's see if I can make myself bigger. <laughs> ah, how do you do this? Okay, uh, Capricorn is here, this glyph. And I've got it, it's 10th house if you're doing whole house system. Um, and this is Aquarius, 11th house. I don't use the whole house system, but you should if you're just starting, it'll be easier and that will nudge uh, one sign to one house and keep it simple. Um, and then you can just Google, <laughs> and you can just Google um, the themes of each house so if it's going through your seventh house it's one-on-one -on -one relationships and venus ruled things and uh if it's going through your first house it's um you your identity things like that again not an astrologer just a hobbyist but fun to look at and we had a lot of fun uh going over it